Hi Aries, this is Mary Shea, my channel Shaloka. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me right now. Aries out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Just one more time. All right. Aries out there. Your first card is this one, the star card. There is something which you're really wishing for, but you have been struggling to make it happen. There has been disappointments in regards to this. Uh, it could be a person or something which you really wish for. Okay? It could be uh, anything. Anything which is really important for you. Like a wish. Okay, you want this to happen, but there is so much disappointments. Like, you know, it speaks about crying over spilled milk. So there might be something which you've lost. Okay, things fell apart. But you're still focused on this. You're still uh, wanting this to happen. But it, it's been a struggle. Okay, because I saw the Ten of Wands, so it's been a real challenge to go after this, to make it happen. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius, a Sagittarius, or probably a Scorpion. Moving on. Aries under. What's your next card, please? Your next card is a Three of Wands. You're still waiting. You are waiting for things to come around. It could be the person. You're waiting for this person to come around. Okay. Seems like um, you both are not on the same page. Like I said, things have fell apart. Okay. So much regret, so much disappointments. But yet someone is not giving up. Someone is still hoping that things will go back to where it was once upon a time. Okay, this is a merchant who is waiting for the ships to return. And this card is looking at this star card. Okay, for this person to return. Doesn't have to be a relationship reading itself. Some of you might be dealing with another Aries person. Whatever it is, you feel, you still feel there is potential. Okay, there is a potential to have a stable, secure future. Okay, you are not letting go of this dream of yours. You're still hopeful that one day things will get better. Okay, you're looking at the long term vision. You're having uh, that idea things will really pick up or come around. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo. It seems like uh, things are pretty much uncertain. There is no certainty. So much confusion. Even though you're waiting, you have no clue how things are going to come around. You want this to happen. But it's not in your hands. Okay? Yes. Whether it will come through or not, it's, it's not really in your hands, okay? And the person whom you're dealing with might, uh, might be somebody who's very strong-willed. Who knows of what? His or her what? Yeah. They are somebody who wants to get their way as well. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces energy hmm? or an Aries. I'm speaking to the Aries. All right, moving on. What is your next card, please? The next card is the Ten of Pentacles again. Yes, you're pretty much hoping things will turn around. King of Wands. This, this seems like a relationship situation. 
Because Queen of Wands, King of Wands, you feel like you are perfect counterparts. Like this person is your significant other. I will make a family with this person. We will be together with, uh, you know, together for the rest of our lives. Like, yeah, 30, 40 years from me. Today, I see us having grandchildren. Yeah, having a family together. So that, that's how you envision this whole thing. That is why you are not giving up on this dream of yours. Because you really see a potential there. Uh, some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian or a Leo person or a Virgo. Ooh. I did not pull that out. But there is, mm, uh, there is something about, somebody has really exited, like taken the escape route. Because I'm looking at Seven of Swords and the Eight of Cups. It's, it's almost like they've walked away. This is not serving them. They don't want to deal with the shit anymore. That kind of a mentality. Or the reason for why things have come to this is because one person might have cheated the other person. Because Seven of Swords is about deception. Okay, and the other person is really disappointed with what has happened and they don't want to deal with this anymore. So two ways, either this person has walked away because they don't want this anymore, they are not interested, or they found out something which you were doing behind the back, okay, sneaking around. And that has really disappointed them. And they're not okay with it anymore. Because initially I showed you the five cups. So there is disappointments, there is regrets. Okay. But you're willing to, you know, hold on. With that ten of wands energy, you are willing to hold on to this. No matter how long it takes. Because you feel like there is still hope. All right, moving on. Aries out there. What is your next card, please? Your next card is the Queen of Cups. All right. So, the same thing I was talking about. Someone is very emotionally invested into this whole thing. The person who's waiting for the other person to come back is... is Going through a lot. Yeah, it's just water above the head. You're very overwhelmed by why things are not working out. You want this so badly. You want this to happen. To work out. Okay. I'm just going to break the deck. Yes, the Eight of Cups. You're really wanting this person to come around. This is your wish. The person who has walked away, you want them to come back into your life. I'm going to say it, some of you are very depressed. Uh, I don't want to say depressed. It's almost like you, you cannot think about anything else other than this uh, scenario. That's why I said it's, it's way above the head. It's, it's just getting a little too much. Yes. Because you want them to be back with you. Okay, the lovers. You want to be together again. One last card for the Aries out there. It's a very blunt story. Like, like five minutes? Oh, nine minutes. All right. 
Just one last card for the Aries out there. I was thinking to myself, okay, because uh, I remember somebody commenting, because it is a story. She's like, I know all this, but you got to tell me what is going to happen. Yeah, that's very demanding. I can only speak a story which is being given to me. Okay, if they want to tell you the future, they will. So I was just thinking about it. All right, this, if you're going through this, you know. So what, like the last card, what are you going to give me? Are you going to give them any, you know, consolation? So they give me the moon card, which is like uncertainty. It is, uh, you know, moon is like things are hidden. Things are uh, behind the veil. You have no clue what is going on. So they're like, you know, how things are going to end up with, a, with that justice? You know? How things will turn around? It will be according to what is fair and what is right. So they still don't want to tell you what the outcome is going to be, but they're giving you a hint. What you deserve, you will get. That is, that is not to be considered as completely positive. Because in your head, you will be thinking, because with the Ten of Pentacles, you might be thinking, yes, I deserve them. But that is only your perspective. So universally, whatever you're deserving, you will get that. And to me as well, it is hidden. I, I'm not even supposed to tell you. But they're hinting, justice will be served. You might find it uh, very unjust, or maybe you will get the person back in your life. But that is yet to be disclosed. Some other time. Okay. <laughs> I almost feel like this is a cliffhanger, like until next episode. That's it for now. This is Varnashi Yumacha Shiloka. Until next time, bye bye.